Welcome to WorkSmarter TV. I am Martin and in this video I will show you how to create a cell reference to uh, data in another worksheet or even in another Excel file. Now first we're going to, we have a nice empty um, workbook here. First we're going to show, uh, see how we can use data from another worksheet. We have the, the worksheet, sheet one, sheet two and sheet three. And here below, we're going to input here on sheet two, I'm on sheet two. This is just plain text, but you can just as usually use numbers or calculation or a formula. And we go to sheet one again and we say, now let's say well, I want to input here. And I can very simply, I just first I uh, type an is or a plus or a minus works just as well. I click, you can see the cursor is blinking here. While you while the cursor is blinking here, I click over to sheet two. And you can see here in the formula bar, it, in, it now includes the name of sheet two and an exclamation mark. And then if you click here, it says B7. Now we don't do anything else. This is very important and we just hit enter. And now we are back on sheet one. And here it is, if we move the cursor up again, is a reference to sheet two exclamation mark B7. And it has the value in which is I'm on sheet two. Now we can copy this cell reference now. And as you, you can see now we have the value from B8 on sheet two, B8, which is 12. We have the value from B9, which is the calculation one plus two. And we have 15, which is sheet two B10. Oh, sheet two, which is the formula that's in here. Now we can also use, oh yeah, and then here below, it looks in sheet B, uh, sorry, sheet two cell B11, 12, which are empty and it returns, Excel returns a zero. Um, now we can use the same mechanism to go to another worksheet. First we type in is, then we go, if we're usually you're here, we go to view, we go to switch windows, and you can see all the open uh, Excel files, Excel workbooks here. Uh, you need to open um, the workbook that you want to the Excel file that you want to uh, reference to first, and then it will show up here. And we click here and we say, okay, I want to have this one. No, that's 1.41. And as you can see, just like when you were uh, referencing to another worksheet in the same file, you get, you get a reference here in the formula bar, which is now quite complicated. It's between brackets, it says which Excel file you're looking for. And then it says within that Excel file, I want data from the first sheet from the cell D3. And now it also includes uh, is make this reference absolute. As you can see here, it only includes this is to another sheet, and this is the, and this is a reference to another file as well. Now, if we copy this one, obviously, Control C, Control V, it's the same uh, formula because it's an absolute cell reference. But if we remove the dollar signs, it's no longer an absolute cell reference, and now you can see it picks the data from the cell below. Now, this can be very handy. But be wary of using this when you're going to move your files around uh, uh, because that will break the links. This is basically a link between two Excel files and Excel won't be able to find it and your calculations go wrong. But still, it can be very handy. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by using the button above this video. And if you want to receive email updates and tips on uh, how to use Excel in a smarter way, you can click the link here. It will take you to my website, worksmarter.tv, and you can subscribe to my email list there.